Apple leaks happened this week, new MacBooks, iOS 15 widgets, and maybe Apple is entering the crypto world. Stick with me and I'll tell you everything that you need to know on what happened with Apple this week. What's up Lollipop, my name is Joe and in today's video, first of all, let's browse through all the quick tidbits of this week. First, LeBron James posted a picture on Instagram with the new Beats Pros. It's not officially launched yet, but he already has it in his ear. Maybe this is a marketing um, thing or maybe it's just an accident. Anyway, the new Beats Pros are in his ears. And number two, new Apple Watch bands look pretty cool. I specifically don't really like the colored, as you can see, Apple Watch bands, but these new ones, I don't know, they, they hit hard for me and, and I freaking love them. I'm like, yeah, I, I need one of these. Really, really cool. Apple has updated the website. Go check them out. iOS 14.6 is actually a real beneficial thing for shortcuts. Shortcuts launch really fast now, faster than before. So if you're a person who uses short shortcuts a lot, download iOS 14.6 because it will speed up everything. Apple might be entering crypto space. Now they have their wallet application, which houses your credit cards, your debit cards, your plane tickets, etc, etc. All cool and dandy. But what it doesn't have is a space for your cryptocurrency. You can't store your cryptocurrency anywhere. Well, there might be something coming along the way. Apple has posted a job offering for Apple Wallet's payments and commerce team is seeking an experienced business development manager to lead alternative payments partnerships. We are looking for a proven professional in global alternative and emerging payment solutions, blah, 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 yep, yep, yep. So there might be a space in the wallet application for cryptocurrencies, which is great. Once Apple implements that, cryptocurrencies will be one step further on being widely accepted by everybody or not, I don't know, you know, tell me in the comment section below, please enlighten me. And finally, a small tidbit, there has been an application that um, got really sneaky and Apple found it out. So the way it worked was you downloaded the application, launched it, and as soon as you launched it, it required you to rate the application. Now, you couldn't rate it one stars, neither two stars. The minimum you could give it was three stars. Otherwise, it wouldn't let you in to the application. This is a big no-no in Apple's books because the higher your rankings are, the more Apple will recommend the application. And since the, the worst rating you could give it was a, a three star, it's been banned from the App Store. Now, Apple is looking into uh, more applications, maybe using this uh, technique and how to ban these applications. So if you come across an application like this, immediately report it. Great, now let's get to the two big stories this week. One, John Prosser has leaked that uh, a new MacBook Pro is coming at WWDC, which means that Apple is breaking up the MacBook Pro launches. Just like last year, we got the MacBook Pro 16 inch around this time and the 13 inch around the end of the year. And this is probably what's gonna happen this year too. We get the 16 inch now, which will be a redesigned model, but the big redesign is not with a screen, with the keyboard and everything. No, there is some changes, but the biggest change, they're bringing back the HDMI, they're bringing back the SD card slot. Two things that professionals have been crying out for since 2016 when Apple removed these. Now, if I think with a business head, it's pretty smart. Remove it, create demand, put it back in, sell. So Apple removed it in 2016, waited five years, now they're putting it back, lots of people will buy it. Or maybe it's because the camera industry has not yet developed so fast to remove SD cards altogether. SD cards are not really a great thing. I don't really like them, but you know, all cameras use this or most of the cameras use these. Uh, so, you know, what to do? Apple has to stick with the times. SD cards are here to stay. HDMIs are here to stay. And hopefully it's true. And these will be included on the new MacBook Pros this month, next week. Really cool. Or the week after next week. And finally, what does iOS 15 need the most? Interactive widgets. And there has been news, rumors, leaks that interactive widgets might be coming. 
yay. Yes, actually, it is a big yay because interactive widgets would allow not just Apple, but developers to develop more complex applications for your home screen. If you could turn off a light from your home screen with a HomeKit app and wouldn't have to go into the application, that would be freaking amazing. If you could check your email, if you could do anything that basically Android lets you do on your home screen, just create it a bit more complex. I mean, I know Apple is all about simplicity, but I think we are tech literate so far that we would be able to understand these things. It would give a great tool to developers. Let's say you have a Tesla application, you want to do stuff with your car, you don't have to go into the application. Also bring widgets to the lock screen. That would be amazing. I wouldn't even have to turn on my phone. I could just like tap, 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 done. It's, we need it. We need these things and we need more applications from Apple themselves, a mail widget, a contacts widget. There are many, many things that we need. I mean, even if Apple's not developing widgets for their own applications, how does Apple expect other developers to develop for their applications? It's just, it, it doesn't make any sense. Bring it here. Also, iPadOS 15 needs a huge, huge update. We want interactive widgets on the home screen. We want better multitasking. Apple has introduced an iPad with an M1 chip, but it's not as capable as a MacBook Air. I cannot substitute my MacBook Pro with an iPad Pro because Final Cut, because Windows, and no, no, not the operating system, but actual Windows themselves, where I can put anything anywhere I want. I can play two videos at the same time. Yes, sometimes I do need that. So Apple needs to reinvent multitasking in some way or not. Don't, don't reinvent it. Just, just give us traditional multitasking. And I tell you, iPad will soar if you give us iPad with the capabilities of a MacBook. You won't be able to make enough iPads. Anyway, guys, this is the news for Apple this week. WWDC is around the corner. I'm looking forward for it. So if you guys want to know all the coverage about WWDC and the build up to it, then subscribe to this channel and there will be something special for you guys during the WWDC time. So be sure to have the notifications turned on because you don't want to miss this. Thank you very much for watching and until my next video, stay safe and hang loose.